So that's quite an interesting question because we are asked for the volume of the lower part of the cone. Now, important thing to realize here is to work out the lower part, we need to work out the total cone and then the little cone on at the top and take them away from each other. So if I have the big cone and the small cone and take them away from each other, that will equal that bottom kind of shape. So uh, to work out the big cone, I'm going to use the formula 1 3rd pi r squared h, which is the formula for a cone. The important thing is what I'm typing in uh, to work this out. I've written half, I should be right at a third. So the r, the radius for the big one, is 20. That's the easy bit. But the height is the total height, which is 25. Now, I'm going to type this in, but I'm going to leave it in terms of pi. So 20 squared times 25 divided by 3. So that is uh, 10,000 over 3 pi. Okay, for the small cone, I'm going to do the same thing again. 1 third pi r squared h. This time it's 1 third times pi times, and the radius of the small one is 4 and the height of the small one is 5. So we're going to do this again, but leave it in terms of pi. So we're going to do 4 squared times 5 divided by 3, which is 80 over 3 pi. And the uh, volume of the shape, so it doesn't really call it anything, it's a shaded volume, is going to be the big one. Take away the small one. So I'm going to type that in, so 10,000 pi over 3, take away 80 pi over 3, and that gives me the answer of 10,388.19971, and so it's two decimal places, that's 10,388 point, and this time the 9 will move the 9 up, so it's going to be 0.20.